Hi, I'm Rob. Um, with this video, we're just going to have a quick look at um, a debugger issue in IntelliJ, which can lead to some confusion. Um, and specifically, it's a, there's a setting that invokes lazy loading um, before we think it should um, on collections. So I've got an example um, query here. We're finding a customer, finding customer one, and then we're getting the contacts for that customer and then at the bottom here we're going contacts.size. Now the contacts.size is the bit that invokes the lazy loading for the contacts, uh, as contacts was not fetched as part of the, the original query. So when we run this, <coughs> and without the debugger, we're getting our query, which is finding customer, getting contacts for Jim, getting contacts.size, and then that is invoking the lazy loading query for contacts. So that's good, that's what we expect. Now, if we run this in the debugger, we don't quite get that, and that is confusing. So, running it in the debugger, at this point, we've got customer, whose uh, ID is one. And if we look at the console, we're good. But if I expand customer in the debugger, that actually has invoked the lazy loading. If I look at contacts, this is now not a deferred list, but actually a bean list size three, and features of size three. So actually expanding customer in the debugger has invoked lazy loading. If we look at the console, we can see a lazy loading query for contact and a lazy loading query for feature. Now if we um, carry it on stepping, uh, we get contacts and we system out and we go size. Now, we haven't actually done anything because it's already been loaded. If we look in the debugger uh, for <coughs> contacts, contacts are all there. So this isn't a problem in terms of the contacts being loaded. It's a, it's a problem in terms of the lazy loading is being invoked by the debugger interrogating customer um, before we expect it to. And that can be confusing. So what we kind of, uh, what we can do is we go file, settings, uh, build, execution, deployment, debugger, data views, Java, and there's a feature called enable alternative view for collections. If we turn that off, that will stop that lazy loading being invoked as part of the debug. So we've turned it off. Now if we do the debug again, so at this point we've got customer, Look in the console, we've got what we expect. Now if we expand customer, last time that invoked lazy loading, but this time it doesn't and it's all good. So we've got contacts, bean list deferred, features, bean list deferred. So these are lists, but they haven't been uh, loaded yet. So if we look in the console and step forward, we get contacts and then Contacts is, is still a deferred list, and then we go size, and then when we go size, the lazy loading has been invoked as we expect. And if we look in the debugger, there we've got our contacts. One, two, three. So it's all good. So the confusion there is that um, with that setting, the lazy loading can be invoked early if we're using the debugger and um, looking into. Um, the entity banks. So I'll just uh, go through that. So that's file, settings, um, build, debug, data views, Java, and the feature is called enable alternative view for collection classes. And um, you just want to turn that off um, when you're looking at lazy loading um, and using the debugger. And uh, you can have it on, of course, but it's just a little bit confusing, I think. Thanks.